ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're here today at Crooked Cat at Orange County National. Uh, it's an awesome track. I'm excited for you guys to see it. There's a torturous tee box from the back tee that's playing almost 7,500 yards. Uh, I'm not going to do that to myself today. So we're going to go from another rough one, though, from 69-27. So it'll still be a poke. I will have some fun. Full-length course log coming at you today. Hole one, 544. I'm sorry, 506 from the normal tee boxes, which would be a little bit better. Par five right out of the gate. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you out there. Number one here, par five. Went a little over 500 yards. Got some awesome bunkering up there. Gonna try and just keep something up the right side. Do make a birdie out of the gate. Ah, leaked it a little bit. That's gonna maybe catch a right bunker. Big hop. All right, so we're actually a little bit right of it. Should have a decent angle in here for our second. A little flare on the first one out of the gate, but we'll get that thing back. All right, so we just managed to keep it out of this fairway bunker here, but it's gonna call for a pretty awkward lie. I have a six iron in my hand right now. I think I'm gonna have to probably stand in the bunker here just a little bit for a decent stance. Now, what I'm thinking about here is I, I kinda gotta take my poison a little bit here and bite the bullet since I had a pretty rough tee shot. So I'm not gonna try and get too crazy. Okay, I don't wanna see a fairway wood in your hand right here now, uh, trying to put it on the green. There's just no reason for that. There's a ton of room up there. I'm gonna keep this six iron in my hand just cause it's a really awkward lie and see if I could just get something back into the middle of the fairway here for an easy third. All right, so that's perfect. That's up there on the right side of the fairway. Hopefully got the club right, I did. Should be just a flip wedge into this cool par five to start. So just a little 60 yard shot here or so to this, looks like back right pin location. Definitely want to get that in the right section of this green. Looks like a pretty big one. And I think it's like, it looks like it's two tiers. So if I hit it on the front level, I'd have a really tough two putt at it. So I want to make sure to get it all the way back to that pin. Just a good smooth swing at it. Just a little knockdown sand wedge here to try and get myself a good look at four. Ah, I left it out a little to the right. Ah, tough there. So it got good, good distance control on it again. Distance control has been pretty good all week down here, but still just struggling a little bit with some open club face through impact. Never gonna miss a green from 60 yards, but we'll just salvage it with a quick up and down. So for a shot like this, I don't know how well we can see it on the camera, but I'm just off the, just outside the fringe here. Um, got that thing up pretty close to pin high, a little bit shorter where I would actually want it but just that flare a little bit on the wedge to keep it out. So I'm, as, as I'm approaching this chip, I'm really picturing the shot itself right now. Okay, I'm picturing a few different ones. As you can see, I have three clubs in my hand, one being the putter, but I have a wedge to play a little higher, softer shot. And I also brought the eight iron up as well. If I can hit more, just a little knockdown, a little, little bump and run putt at this thing with the eight iron. So I'm still just eyeing this out as I walk up, picturing what the ideal shot would be. Trying to figure out if I want to mess with any of this, right? if I want to land this in the fringe at all, if I'm hitting that bump and run shot, chances are I'm going to have to land it in this. If I want to just carry it, I'll go for more of that softer little chip shot or lob shot with a wedge. So I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm actually going to chip this one. I don't really want to, I don't know how that this rough is going to react here. And I don't want to mess with this fringe quite yet. So I'm going to try and loft one up over the fringe. It's a little sand wedge. See if we can get a tap in for our five. A 
Oof. Gave it a run at the four. Run that thing by just a little bit. So we'll have some meat on this bone now. Try and clean this up. So that was the first chip of the day. Interesting to see how that one ran on by. Our last round of golf was Legends Night Golf, where the ball didn't take off quite like that when it hit the green. But not too much left. Not too much break, I should say, rather. Definitely a little bit left on this. Got a good eight feet or so to try and save my par. I'm gonna try and just go left edge with this putt. Doesn't seem to be too much in it. Ooh. Man, stay right out on that left edge the whole way. All right, so bogey here at the first. A disappointing one from 60 yards out. You want to really try and get that thing up and down. But we learned a couple things here. Learned that I'm still flaring the wedges just a little bit, so try and get those squared up. But also when you're chipping, they're going to roll out a little bit. The greens are rolling nice. Bogey at the first. Let's move on to the second. Guys, I had every golfer's worst nightmare happen here on the, on the first hole. The eraser has come out of the pencil, which, which could hinder us, but we'll try and just place that right back in there. It should be okay. So uh, Frank is playing this round today. Frank made a six, it's a bogey on the first, unfortunately. If we're going fur, gur, and putts the whole day. Okay, so that was a missed fairway. That was a missed green regulation, and two putts. Okay, so that's not a good combo there. If you're gonna miss a green, you'd love to see a one putt there. Obviously, making sure you're getting it up and down for a par, which I didn't do on the first. But, a little rough out of the gate, we'll try and make it up with the birdie here in the next few holes. All right guys, so moving right along, hole number two. 439 it says on the card. I'm not sure what those bunkers are at, uh, but I'm gonna try and just rip a driver up there on the left side. Let's see where that gets us. So it looks like there's, a, there's about 20 or 30 yards after that 150 mark, so we got some room down there. I'm just gonna try and take a nice smooth swing. This hole's getting shaped a little left to right. So I'm gonna try and have my shot shape just match that with a little cut up there. Uh, hopefully starting to the left side of that 150 stick and then just fading back towards the shape of the hole. Good smooth swing, try and make a birdie now to get that one back on one. All right, so a good swing there. Started a little left to where I wanted it. But plenty of room over there to the right. Should be a pretty good position over there, just carry the trees on the right side, cut the corner. Gonna act like I was trying to do that, but did cut the corner nonetheless. Let's go make a birdie, come on now. Hmm. All right, so narrowly avoided some of this crap over here on the right. I got a pretty lucky break. Started that definitely too far right of where I was trying to over the driver. I'll square one of these up at some point today. But we still got a pretty lucky break here. We got a decent look at the pin. Only a flip wedge here left. I got another sand wedge. See if we could throw one on the stick here this time. It's a little left of the hole, cutting back. And should be up there. So we got a putt at our birdie. Let's try and make one here. Get that one on the first right back. All right, guys. So making our way up to the green here. I uh, would have liked to get that one a little further back than that. But it seems like there's a, definitely a two tier here. So it wasn't good. It was good to not miss too short. Got it to the center of the green. It was definitely tricky from that, you know, those brushes that we were at. I didn't want to try and do too much. I knew center of the green would be a good shot from there. But we got this. Back right pin. Looks like it's a little uphill, but you know that first one rolled by pretty good. So I think I still definitely have to, you know, respect this one quite a bit. Make sure I don't blow it by and have a, a downhiller for my four. Still trying to make this one. Looks like it's gonna leak just a little bit to the right up there. She started hooking a little left. It's a little bit of a misread. Still got it up there pretty good. Just gonna make sure I got nothing on this ball here. So 
Just a little knee knocker left now for our four. Try to clean this guy up. All right, so we'll take the four there. Uh, definitely didn't take advantage of the hole with that tee shot. Didn't put us in the best situation. Uh, Could have got that wedge shot a little closer for the three. We'll take the four. One over through the first two. Let's get right over to the three now. All right, so a par there on the second. We still missed the fairway there. It's going to make it challenging to make anything but that par. But we did get a green regulation. Got a look at it. And two more putts there to clean up our four. All right, now, so our par four, third hole here. It's pretty short. Say it's only playing about 370. Got some tree trouble down the left side. So I'm gonna try and keep it over there on the, on the right. Looks like there's nothing but room. Uh, the only tempting part about that tree line is that it seems that it's definitely a little uh, shortcut for the rest of the hole. But on a shorter par four like this, uh, you have to really figure out what you're gaining, right? So if I go over that tree line, maybe I'll get a, you know, 20 extra yards less in my hand, but you're also bringing in the risk of getting blocked out on a short par four where you should be taking advantage of the distance. So I'm not even gonna try and take on that tree line. I'm gonna try and keep it out to the right of that 150 stick and just probably put a good swing on it. All right, so that's perfect down there. That's just down the right side. See a nice soft kick, which it gets. All right, so we should be inside 150 there. Try and get this birdie back. Let's do it. All right, guys, so we're riding up here to our approach shot on the third hole. It's been such a good trip so far. It's awesome to get out of that, you know, the cold in New York and escape down to Orlando here for a few days. Some awesome golf courses. Uh, big thanks to Orange County National for having us out today. The track looks perfect, and it's and it's always a challenge. It's a cool one. I unfortunately didn't have it in me uh, to go from 7,500 yards out. I don't want to torture uh, myself or the viewer and uh, and be fighting for my dear life to try and make some fours there. So that's just a lot, a lot of yardage. It's cool if they could tip it out that far. Uh, they probably have some awesome events here from, from that deep. And it's, again, just an awesome track. One of the best in Orlando. Thanks again for Orange County National for having us out. Now we're trying to make some birdies to back it up now. Come on. So quick cart talk, and now we're rolling up to this one. I seem to have found the only tree trouble on the right side. But I might have gotten lucky. I think I'll be able to keep a wedge under these trees, possibly. Let's see, this is probably about a sand wedge distance. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. It doesn't look like long is a good place to be. Try and keep something short of that pin up there. Trying to feel if these trees are coming in the way at all, which I don't think they are. So we have a pretty clean look at this here. Just a little wedge. See if we can try and put one close, actually make our three. So well struck. Going pretty close at it. Let's see if it's the number. Uh, so it's a little bit short to that back pin. Got a little too cute trying to avoid these trees, but we got a par, a birdie putt rather at it. Let's try and drill it. Come on now. All right, so we had a two-tier green here. I did not get it on the proper tier. So it'll be a little more challenge of this birdie putt. I'm gonna have to get it up this initial slope here and then judge as best I can what it's gonna do from there. Some good course knowledge there. You know, I really gotta take another, another second look at the hole because when you have approach shots like that, right, when you have a wedge shot in, that's when you're really able to take advantage of getting it on the proper tier. Okay, I've had a five iron into that hole uh, as much as I'd like to be on the proper tier, it, you don't, it, you're going for the middle of the green in that situation, right? If we have a wedge in our hand, you really are trying to get it dialed in, get it on the right tier, give yourself a, a better look at that three. So I failed to do that there, but we'll still try and drain this guy. Definitely up the hill quite a bit. Oh, 
Man, so another one just blown by. I'm trying a little too hard to make this birdie putt for you guys, I think. Just, just missed that right edge. So a little bit of meat left on this one once again. Down the hill for our four. I'm gonna take a second, really look at this one. I don't see too much break in it from this distance. So I'm gonna try and go on the left side of the cup. Well, I'll just drop right in. All right, so we'll take our four there. Once again, really trying to figure out when you're, when you're looking back on your rounds and your course management, what you could have did a little better. When you have these shorter holes, we're playing from pretty far away today, pretty long, 7,000 yards. When you have those holes that you have wedged in your hand, you're really trying to take advantage of it, get it on the right tier, be a little bit more specific with where you want to land it, and give yourself a little, bit, little better look at three. We'll take our four there, one over through the first three. Let's get right over to four. All right, guys, we'll take it right back over to our scorecard here on that par four third hole, playing 370 from our orange tees. Uh, that was a four there. We missed the fairway again. That's been a problem here through the first couple. It's just making it more of a challenge on yourself to then in turn hit that green. On that hole, we were fortunate enough to hit that green and then just had a long uh, two putt there to save our four. Hole coming up right now. Looks like it's another par five, 508. We're due for a birdie now, guys. Let's go make one. So a really pretty hole you guys are looking at right now. Uh, the common theme through the first few are uh, you don't want to miss it left and take on the left side of these holes. Another, another hole with trouble out there on the left, so I'm going to try and keep one out just to the right side of this fairway. Try and give ourselves a good look of putting our second shot even maybe on that green. Ah, so I took it right at that left tree line, came over a little bit. But bounced right through everything, luckily. So missed my target there, got a little lucky. Now let's go take advantage of it. All right guys, so we are, got a good break after that tee shot. Really missed my spot. I was trying to keep it out to the right, but we'll take it nonetheless. We have a pretty good lie here in the left rough. Really trying to take advantage of a, another par five. Made a, a silly par five, a, a silly bogey rather, on our first par five, the first hole. Now I was trying to put something up there around the green about, got about 250 out. Just gonna try and give it a whirl with the three wood here. So a high cut up the left side. There's gonna be a little bit, a little short left in that collection area down there. Still coming over the top of it just a touch and fanning on it, getting some, some crappy swings out of the gate, but a birdies do, let's get it up and down. So it looks like we're gonna have a little bit of a dicey lie here for our third shot, but a, a very good teaching moment though that we can talk about now. So hit a little delicate chip shot. I pulled that, that three wood just a touch again. Uh, it's a little over the top of it, kept it out to the left. Uh, but we're faced with a very interesting shot now. So the ball is below our feet. We have to hit this delicate little chip shot up onto the, up onto the green there and try to have it stop rather quickly. So all I'm thinking about here is just making sure that my leading edge is gonna stay low enough in order to hit this shot, okay? Being that I'm above the ball, that I'm leaning, leaning over to it just a bit, it's gonna be easy to not be low enough and get the leading edge hit in the middle of that golf ball for a skull rather than underneath the entire golf ball and letting the bounce do the work. So I'm just gonna stay nice and low for this shot. Good smooth swing, keeping that leading edge low enough. See if we can get a good shot up there. Got to sit just a little bit. Pretty good from that lie. Kept it on the right level. Had about an eight footer here for our birdie. Mike can keep that rolling right up, bub. So the other thing that happens too when the ball is, ball is below your feet and you're trying to stay that low, the club face tends to open up a little bit. Okay, so the heel of the club is gonna to get to the ground first when it's below your feet, opening up the club face a bit. You see my ball there. Uh, ended up just a little bit right of the pin, but same thing, about a, a nine footer though for our birdie, which we'll happily take and, and try and make here. 
I'm gonna go pin out for this one here, Mike. Yank this guy. Not too much in this one. Looks like right, pretty much outside the right edge. Trying to get some good pace and get that bogey back. And a little too much respect for that break. Kept it out there the whole way. Tough not to take advantage of the par five again, especially after a good chip shot. But just a bad read. Thought I was gonna break a little bit more than that. Pro side of the hole, which we'll take as a win. That's a par on the par five, fourth hole. All right guys, so a scorecard update. That was a par five, five there at the fourth hole. Another missed fairway, which is the theme of today. Can't seem to get a fairway. Uh, driver's a little out of whack. We did happen to get a green there, so our third green in a row, but unfortunately another two putt, which isn't gonna get you those birdies back or, or get you under par. So, decently solid start, uh, rather than that a little blemish there on the first hole, not getting that up and down. But we're coasting through, one over to the first four, 403 yards on the par four, fifth hole coming up. Let's see what we can do. All right guys, so our lead group there is cleared out of the way. A little dog leg left here, actually for the first time today. Looks like there's some more room over on the left, just a touch, some bunkering down that left side, but really, the fairway really drops off over there on the right. There's a, a big swale. You're actually gonna be hitting from well below the actual level of the fairway down there to the right. So I'm gonna try and keep it on the fairway up there to the left. It's a good smooth swing, 400 yard hole. Let's see what we can do. All right, so we officially got our first fairway of the day. That thing's hit out there pretty well. Cleared all those left bunkers. Should have something pretty short into the screen. All right, guys, so not a lot of rollout on that tee shot. We have the big old ball mark right there that just kind of stopped once it hit the ground. Love to see a little bit more roll than that, try and get the spin numbers a little better probably, that'll help. But nonetheless, we have about 135 left to this back right pin location. I'm gonna just take a stock, kind of pitching wedge, just throw one back there, try and get it on the correct level. Give us a more manageable putt here at our bird, make one. Ah, so just a little left. So middle of the green, miss it to the left out there. Tough to get it all the way back to that, that back right corner. You can definitely see my alignment's a little bit off. Divot's facing a little bit left. I guess I got scared away just a touch there, guys, of that, of that bunker short right of it. See if we could drain one. It's interesting in those situations, though, where you have a wedge in your hand and, and you want to be aggressive and make sure you get it all the way to the proper pin location. Uh, but then, you know, I don't know if you guys have you definitely saw it on the video, there's that there bunker short right, which creeps into your head. It looks like the pin is tucked all the way in the back right corner, so it's totally tough to, you know, it's tough to totally rather buy into going all the way at that back, back pin and, you know, being scared of missing it, short side yourself. So there's a lot of variables that come into your head, but the key to all, those, all of it though is confidence, trusting your lines, trusting your alignment, which unfortunately I didn't do there, and it's gonna leave me a longer putt than I would want for my birdie. But let's just make it. We're walking up to here now, and I just got done talking about how, you know, some other risks come into your head, possibly that bunker. Now I'm seeing that there's about 10 yards, 15 yards over that bunker that I had room with. Uh, and it's just as much of a risk putting it at the wrong part of the green uh, than it almost is missing its short side, say. If you have to putt over two tiers, that's a great two putt. It's almost like an up and down. So if you, you know, really want to be precise with the putter, make it a little bit easier on yourself with the putter, really getting dialed in on the tiers, especially when there's a wedge in your hand, uh, can do can do a lot of a lot of work on that. So didn't practice what I preached there, unfortunately, and I am on the wrong tier. And we have a a pretty good amount of length now left to this putt. Looks like it's going to break a little bit left to right, swing a little bit that way, uh, a little downhill at first, then uphill leading into the hole. Try and leg it up there for a nice two putt. Wow, 
Wow. So it actually worked a little left at the end there. Uh, it's a little bit of a misread. Good distance control though. Got it up there, you know, two or three feet right to pin high. But just a, a touch of a misread. That thing just stayed out, stayed out to the left. Actually started working back to the left once it got to the hole. Try and clean this guy up for our par. All right, so we'll take the par there. Just gotta start taking more advantage of these wedge shots. It's actually a little shorter than I thought it would be out here today. It's not too bad, it's manageable to distance. Uh, we gotta start throwing some darts though, making some birdies. These two ball pars are good for the scorecard, you know, tough for the viewer. They're a little boring to watch, but we're managing. One over through five, let's keep it rolling. The scorecard update here, that was a par four. Four, finally got our first fairway of the day. It's a big moment. I just wanna thank everybody, first of all, that was here with us when we didn't hit a fairway still. Uh, we, we really fought hard for you guys and, and battled through and we're, we're finally here. We got a fairway, which is phenomenal. Green regulation, got one of those as well. Four in a row, keep that trend going, but still two damn putts on every single hole. So we're gonna try and drop one here, uh, sneak in a birdie. This is the par three, sixth hole, a buck 90 coming up. All right guys, so 190 here to this flag stick. I'm trying to just visualize if this looks like a, more like a six or a five iron. I usually like have my, usually my five irons, my stock 200 yard club. Um, and then and then kind of, you know, goes down from there or up for 150, however you want to do it. But I'm actually gonna go with the five iron here. Looks like there's a ton of trouble short. I'd really have to flush a six iron to get it there also. And just take a nice smooth five iron up the, over at the left side of that pin. Add anything, any of that trouble short. So it's a high cut, pretty much right at it. It's bailed out a little bit left, actually. That's actually about pin, pin high on the left. Stop cutting there, but from 190, we'll take it. Let's try and get our two putt, hopefully, our one putt. Keep it rolling here for part one. All right, so we got all that five iron. Like I was saying on the tee box, it was just probably a, a club too long for that pin. Just a little deep in the back part of the green, but in our head, we knew that we were trying to hit this one, make sure that we didn't bring those front bunkers into play. Uh, just getting a putt at it is good, but still trying to get these numbers totally dialed in. A couple of missed clubs, a little misdirection. I haven't really stuffed any of these iron shots quite yet. But another green in regulation though, which we'll take, which is good. Good to have your putter in your hand. Uh, for this for this second shot here. Don't see too much in it. Looks like it's gonna be a little downhill. These greens are rolling beautifully today, so I'm definitely gonna make sure I respect that undulation going down there towards the pin. See if we could sneak one in there for our two, and if not, nice easy two putt for our three. So staying out to the left a bit, I thought it would sling a touch. And what do you know? Another one rolled by the hole about four feet. Nothing easy today. Don't really want to give myself tap-ins for some reason, so I'm just going to keep going with these little testers. So far, so good today. I'll see if we could make another one. Definitely another little misread. I thought that was going to hook back to the left a bit off that slope, but it was not meant to be. All right, so a good par there at the sixth hole. We're one over through the first six. That's gonna do it for part one of our blog here from Orange County National. We're playing Crooked Cat today. Again, a big thank you for you for, for them for having us out. A big thank you as well for you guys for tuning in. Definitely make sure to check out part two. We're going low in part two, I can guarantee you that. One over through the first six. Hey guys, Frank here. Uh, you thought you were done with me for part one, but I cannot leave you without an unfinished scorecard for our part one. We've been giving you these scorecards update all, all along. Got to finish it out. That last hole, that was the sixth hole, part three. We got a par there. 
Uh, no need for a fairway. We were lacking a fairway. It was a, a par three. So we marked down our other greener regulation. Two putts. So we finish it with one, two, three, four, five greens hit out of the first six, which is splendid. Uh, the only green we did not hit, we unfortunately did not get up and down. Uh, but that one lone fairway in regulation. So we'll try and build on that for part two. Mike's coming up here. There we are. Thanks again for tuning in to part one. Uh, we really appreciate it. We hope you learned something. See you over in part two.